This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to review the pens that I used this past week, and I'm going to take a look at the pens that I'm preparing to use in the upcoming week. Now, this past week, for grading, I used my Platinum Preppy with a fine nib, inked up with KWZ Standard Grapefruit, and I used it last week also. Um, I had trouble with it hard starting, and I thought, well, it's because I hang it on my lanyard, and others agreed, yeah, if you have it hanging on your lanyard with nib up, it, um, will, it's not unreasonable that it's going to hard start, even though it's got this, the cap liner. Uh, so I made sure that this week, I just kept it laying on my desk when I wasn't using it, and I still had issues with it hard starting. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do a writing sample. We'll see if we have any issues with it. Now, I, I haven't used a tremendous number of inks in this pen, but I've not had trouble with it um, skipping or hard starting or anything like that. Uh, yeah. And that's not even, it. this week it was worse than this. It would not write at all. I would have to shake it and get it started. And this is a fine nib. So this, this ink just does not play well with this pen. Um, let's see. I like the shade of this ink. And even when I was grading papers, it would dry out as I was using it. Now, when I'm grading papers, I'm not writing continuously, but even when I'm not using it, I'll have my cap in my hand and I'll use the cap kind of like a pen stand just to, to try to keep it from drying out and I'll write and put it back. And I still had issues with it wanting to dry up. So again, this, this ink is just not, uh, this pen and ink pair just doesn't work that well together. So... Since I repaired my Sailor Pro Color 500, and it's it's a fine nib, but it's writing really wet, like a uh, more like a Sailor Medium. Um, I really want to try KWZ Standard Grapefruit in it. That's originally the pen and ink pair that uh, I got the KWZ Standard Grapefruit to go with this pen. Now. Uh, I used this pen last week as a note taker with Sailor Black in it, and let's and I loved it. It wrote, it was so nice, wrote so smooth. So let's see how this works. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you can hear it. This sounds a little scratchy, and it feels kind of feedbacky, but I've noticed that my Sailor pens on which term paper just, I mean, they don't feel that great. It's not ideal. I don't hate it, but it's not ideal. My Sailor pens, fine nibs on Rhodia, very smooth. I really like it. And this does not appear that it's going to give me any problems. I like the way that looks. This is also KWZ Standard Grapefruit. And the reason this nib, this fine nib, is writing broader than normal is because I dropped it and messed up the nib and took some pliers to it. I 
covered the ply the needle nose pliers with tape so it wouldn't scratch up the nib and kind of did a little work on it now I like how this is looking in the platinum it looks a little more orange I really like how this looks though in the sailor it's more reddish orange and it just really matches the pen. The pen itself is reddish orange. Um, it doesn't look quite true to color in my viewfinder, but I really like how these two look together. I think this is going to be nice. My only concern is this might write too wet for some of the not so great papers, student papers that I'll be using it on, but I find that more and more student paper is tending to be fountain pen friendly, so that's good. Now, I used this for note taking last week. I cleaned out the last remnants of black ink. It was just almost completely dried up. And my note taking pen this week is going to be my Caveco Lily Put. Now, this pen has been a source of frustration to me in the past. Uh, it has major problems with hard starting and skipping. But the Sailor Black from the ink cartridges that I got with my Sailor pens, I love that ink so much. It is so smooth and flowy, and it's really an inky dark black that I thought it might work well in this. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm about 99% sure that Sailor Gentle Black is the ink that's in the ink cartridges. So this is the first time I'm going to be using it. We will see if it's that same really wet flowy ink that I've been using in the ink cartridges. Now the reason, another reason I wanted to use my Caveco Lily Put this week is because in Sunday school I had a new batch of kids this week. School started back and so, excuse me, so the kids moved up a grade, so I've got some new students, and they brought some miniature uh, little notebooks and stuff, and they were talking about how they like miniature stuff, and I told them that I had a miniature fountain pen. They saw me using a fountain pen to take roll and, you know, they were curious about that. They were asking questions, and I told them I had a miniature one. They thought that sounded cool. So I wanted to take this to show them. And it's looking nice. On the K, it had a little trouble getting started, but nothing like the infuriating uh, hard starts that I was having before. This is an extra fine nib, and you see how it compares to the Sailor. Uh, it's... A Sailor Extra Fine, or a Caveco Extra Fine is more like a Sailor Medium. In fact, this, I've marked it fine, but this nib that I did some repairs on is writing more like my Sailor 1911 Medium nib. This is my, um, oh, that's, that's the Platinum. My uh, Sailor Fine nibs write very fine. Let's see, this is... Sailor. So even with me pausing to talk for talk for a while, that still starts right up. I like this. I think I'm gonna enjoy using this pen this week. I it is it's been so frustrating. This was one of my dream pens when I first got into fountain pens. I also like miniature stuff and uh, it was just all, always kind of aggravating. I was new to the fountain pen hobby, so I didn't understand how some inks are drier than others, and I was just using the absolute worst inks in this pen. Uh, had a little bit of trouble getting started there, but not, not bad at all. This ink is a good match for this pen.
Yeah. This is going to work nicely. Let me see. I'm going to do a wetness. <coughs> oh, excuse me. School started back. And I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Starting Thursday, I had kids coming to me asking if they could go get throat lozenges from the nurse. So I hope... A back-to-school cold is not in my future. Oh, yeah. Look how wet that sailor writes. And the platinum, I bet, is going to be quite a bit drier. Oh, yeah. That didn't even... Look at that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy these two pins this week. I'm really looking forward to it. These look like they're going to be a nice pair. And the reason I dropped this pin and messed up the nib earlier, I was in a hurry. The bell was about to ring. I knew it was my prep period. I just finished grading some papers and I just wanted to make a note on a to-do list real quick and just got in a hurry, dropped my pen, bent the nib up. All is well though. I was able to fix it. This is a this is a steel nib. I probably would not take a pair of pliers to one of my gold nibs. It would probably be worth it to send it off to a nibmeister. But this is a forty dollar pen, and in my research, nibmeister work, nib work started at about around $40, so it just wasn't worth sending off. But happy ending. It's working now. One of my favorite pens again. So my sister gave me this ballpoint pen, Harry Potter's Wand. We both enjoy the enjoyed the Harry Potter books and movies. And uh, she gave me this as a birthday present um, at the end of the school year last year. And so... I thought this would make a nice desk pen, and I took it to school last week, set it beside my to-do list, and it has just worked really well. I don't have to worry about getting in a hurry if I need just a quick note. I just use my fountain pens for grading, which is when I'm just sitting at my desk, so this has worked out well. This is my Harry... Potter ballpoint. It writes nice and smooth compared to what I remember ballpoints writing like. Um, it's pleasant. It makes a nice uh, pen for jotting a quick note and I just leave it sitting on my desk there beside my to-do list and that has worked really well. Um, so this week I'm using Sailor Gentle Black in my Caveco Lily Put as a note taker. I use this mainly at church and then for little odds and ends notes at school. And I'm still using my sample of KWZ Standard Grapefruit and I was just about to write this off after having so much trouble with it in my preppy, but I'm encouraged by what I'm seeing so far in my Sailor Pro Color. So that just goes to show you, don't write off an ink without trying it in a couple of different nibs, maybe a couple of different nib sizes, if that's an option for you. Now, one other thing, I thought I would just mention it. Since my kids at Sunday school said they liked miniature school supplies, I thought I would take my Midori Passport Traveler's notebook. I thought they might get a kick out of that. I saw Chris Sines uh, did a video and, about her bullet journal, and she had a, a little, I think it was A6 size notebook that one of her pen, pen friends had sent her, and she was using it as a commonplace book. Just a little notebook for odds and ends, taking notes on things you're interested in or quotes, and that 
just rung a bell with me. My uh, one of the notebooks. This is actually this is a moleskin. One of the little small kind of field note size. I use it for taking notes. Little interesting things that I want to make a note of for later. Quotes and things like that. And so I thought I would take that show the kids. And let's see what else. So my two pens, my grading pen, and my note taking pen are going to go in my rickshaw. Now this is kind of a a, a big pen sleeve for that little lily put, but I like these rickshaw pen sleeves. It pinches closed, and I'm just going to be putting this in my purse so that look, it's not going to fall out. So that is what I'm going to be using this week. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.